10 Cool Facts About Tarsiers. My name's Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. 10. Tarsier's eyes are bigger than their brains. The Tarsier's eyes are their most prominent feature. They have the largest eye to body size ratio of all mammals. Their small brain to body size ratio suggests that Tarsiers are less intelligent than the great apes. 9. Nocturnal animals today. These large eyes help the Tarsier to capture enough light to see at night. But strangely, they don't have a tapetum lucidum. The tapetum lucidum is a reflective lining in the back of the eye that most nocturnal vertebrate animals like cats, owls, and even fish have evolved. It amplifies the small amount of light that the eyes receive. Because Tarsiers lack this common reflective lining in their eyes, it is believed Tarsiers were, until recently, more active during the daytime. 8. Natural Defenses Tarsiers are only about the size of a rat and have to worry about being eaten by house cats and native Southeast Asian predators like the civet cat, monitor lizards, eagles, and snakes. To defend themselves, Tarsiers mostly use their small size to hide in tree nooks. If hiding doesn't work, they can jump away or call for help. Tarsiers use several unique distress signals which call on larger neighboring males to come to the rescue. For snakes, the mob of Tarsiers will scream, jump, and bite. This intimidates the snake to back off. In the case of a predatory bird alarm, the behavior is different. The Tarsiers will spread out and alert each other of the bird's location, acting as sentries. 7. Arboreal Leapers Tarsiers are named after their elongated tarsus bones. Tarsus bones make up the ankle. This gives them frog-like hind legs, which allows them to leap more than 4 meters from tree to tree, or half a meter up vertically. Tarsiers are arboreal, meaning they spend the majority of their lives in the trees. They have also adapted extremely long tails and creepy looking fingers to aid with grip and balance. 6. Excellent Communicators Not only do Tarsiers utilize verbal distress calls, but they also use scent glands on their face and urine to mark territory and for mating signals. Tarsiers are even capable of making several facial expressions because, like humans, they have a distinct upper lip. Most other primates and mammals have their mouth directly connected to their nose, and this limits facial expression. Tarsiers can even communicate using ultrasonic sounds. These sounds are so high pitch that most predators, including humans, cannot even hear them. Ultrasonic communications help to keep the tarsiers safe. 5. Weird Fingers and Toes Tarsiers have very elongated digits with sticky pads to help their grip. Their fingers all have nails, but the toes have a combination of nails and claws. Each foot has three nails and two claws. These claws are used for grooming, not combat, as far as I can tell. 4. Obligate Carnivores Tarsiers may look cute, but they are predators and strictly eat other living animals only. They are the only surviving member of the primate order to be strictly carnivorous. Tarsiers eat mostly large insects like beetles, cicadas, and moths. But sometimes they will leap from tree to tree to eat small lizards, birds, or even bats if they can get their hands on them. All other primates, like humans, are omnivores, meaning they can eat a little bit of everything. Having such a strict diet is one of the reasons Tarsiers are listed between threatened and strictly endangered around the world. 3. Fixed Eyes Tarsiers' eyes are stuck to their skulls, and they can only change what they're looking at by moving their heads. Like owls, 
They have exorcist girl necks and can rotate their heads about 180 degrees in each direction. Their optic nerves connect differently to their brains than all other primates. This indicates that Tarsier's evolutionary path probably split off from all the other primates, such as humans, some 55 million years ago. 2. Conservation Status Tarsiers are already well on their way to extinction. Today, only fossils can be found in mainland Asia, Europe, and North America. Humans are the main threat to Tarsiers. We are constantly cutting down rainforests to make way for more farmland. On the island of Bohol in the Philippines, only 700 individuals are estimated to remain in the wild. Human pet trade and tourism is also a significant threat. Please know that these animals do very poorly in captivity, with their life expectancy being cut in half from 24 years down to 12 years. Human contact, including touch, noise, and camera flashes, stress these guys out. Tarsiers prefer to be hidden, and there are even suicide cases when Tarsiers are put into cages. They can easily crack their own skulls when trying to escape back into the comforts of the wild. And one, the current range and diversity. Today, Tarsiers can only be found on the Southeast Asian islands. The biggest populations are in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Borneo. There are 18 different species of Tarsier, and the Philippines Tarsier is the most common. Their dwindling estimated population size is only at about 5,000 individuals. Let me know in the comments what animal you want to see next. And if you like this video, check out some of my similar older content or subscribe for more new videos every week about animal facts, science news, or science education. Thanks for watching Science Talk TV.